I hope you're doing well this evening and tonight we're going to make a junk pumpkin <laughs> and that is a um, pumpkin that we're going to make from basically nothing. So I started doing my fall decorating so I'm feeling a little bit better this week than I was last week. Um, I was, you know, at home with COVID, quarantined. So, um, in my last couple days, I decided I was going to get some mums. So I started decorating on the porch. And also, I have one more place that I wanted something, but I just didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it. So as you know, when you buy all those mums and everything, it gets a little pricey. So I thought, what can I make a pumpkin out of that's just basically nothing, garbage? So I did some researching, and I did find um, a video, I think it was on HGTV Home, and they were making pumpkins out of trash. So I'm sort of modifying the idea a little bit. And I did make one today that I'm not finished with, um, but here it is so far. So we have a little bit of work to do on the one that I started today. And then I'm gonna show you how I got to that point. So I'm gonna put the camera down here and get started here. So what I have is some just regular grocery store bags. And that's how I started with the other ones today. Now I filled them with grocery bags, more grocery bags. We do have a dog that we need bags to walk, so I decided not to use all of them. And I had gotten some orders from Walmart, so I have these air pillow things. So I'm just gonna stuff these garbage bags with some of the air pillows. So I do have like three of them in here. And I'm just filling it with this. Now, the um, tutorial that I saw, they used um, shredded newspaper. And then after they did what I'm going to show you, um, they did, they used, um, it's paper mache pulp. And people were saying how expensive that was, so that kind of defeats the purpose to me of, you know, spending little on a pumpkin. So these pumpkins, I, I bought a carvable pumpkin, and only because it was on extreme sale. But those things are expensive. They're like, they're about $30. <laughs> and of course you can get them on sale. But, okay, so I have this thing kind of full. So what I'm going to do is just take the handles, put this up just a little bit, take these handles and just tie them. I'm just going to tie them together. I'm going to try to stuff this down in here. Okay, so just going to make a double knot there. Okay, so we have sort of a pumpkin shape, and then um, I used this twine today. You could use um, jute also, uh, but since I used this today, and I'm going to make two matching pumpkins, then I'll use this. And I just pulled a good length of it. Okay, and then I flipped it upside down. More, more trash that wants to go in my pumpkin. And then just kind of crisscrossed it like I was wrapping a present. And then just bringing this up to the top. Now here's where it would be helpful to have someone use their finger in there but you know when you're doing it yourself you kind of have to improvise okay so I didn't get that real real tight but that's okay we'll uh, we'll do another one here So 
I grab another one of these and do the same thing. So just kind of spaced it in between there. Just want to bring it up again and tie it. And I'm trying to make this one a little bit tighter so you can actually see. Okay, not too bad. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and hmm, we still could use another rib there. I think I'm going to do another one. You know, nothing has to be perfect, right? <laughs> Pumpkins certainly aren't always the same size ribs in between. Um, so yeah, we need it here. And I'm just gonna tie it, and then I'm gonna gather the rest of the the rest of the threads that are here and kind of put them all together. You know the things I end up doing. Making pumpkins from grocery bags. Okay, so I'm going to space these out a little because they're not really spaced very well. And I'm going to kind of tighten up some of them because I didn't pull these super tight. I have a little extra slack here, so I'm going to use that to tighten it. Starting to look like a pumpkin to you. <laughs> so I appreciate everybody that's been watching my channel because, um, I think we're there. I'm expecting the email from YouTube any day saying you're ready to monetize because I believe we have all of our watch hours in. Okay, so now I'm going to pull up this middle section and now's where we're going to bring in some tape. So I'm just using painter's tape for mine. And I'm just going to wrap it around the two tails. So it's starting to look like a stem. Now, like I said, they had some extra steps on theirs that... I decided I didn't want to do. <laughs> so, I'm going rogue. So I'm going to tape down a little bit of this loose uh, plastic here. And then we're going to go back to the one that I started today and talk about it a little bit. So I, like I said, what they did with theirs is they took this um, plaster... Um, not plaster of Paris, but um, paper mache. And they had this paper mache pulp. And it was just uh, paper that they just put in with water and mixed up. And somebody commented that it was just like $30 or something, or if not more. So, um, you know, that defeats the purpose. So we're not going to do that. Um, one thing I did think to do was to try uh, paper clay. Um, you could put it on here to smooth the surface. But you know what? I thought about it and I thought, I'm going to just use uh, Slick Stick, which is Dixie Bell's um, paint. 
that uh, will bond. It's a bonding primer, and it'll bond paint to plastic. So I thought, you know what, it can't hurt to try it. So I did it because the, the thing that I was afraid that might happen was that it might um, peel, you know. So I, I did it anyway, and we are going to paint this tonight. Now, I know my pumpkin looks a little wrinkly, um, but that's okay. My pumpkins are going to be wrinkly. <laughs> so the paint that I'm going to use is really appropriate. This is a brand new color from Dixie Bell. It's a limited time. It's a limited release and it's called Pumpkin Spice. It's one of Suzanne's fall colors. And I brought um, Holy Guacamole home for the stem. So before uh, we get into painting the one that I have primed here, I'm going to show you how uh, the slick stick goes on the one that we have here. So I'm going to put the screen down a little bit. So our garbage bag pumpkin. Okay, so this is Dixie Bell Slick Stick. And again, it is a bonding primer. So you can put it on slick surfaces like countertops and formica and stuff like that um, to prepare it for paint so that it'll bond. So I'm just going over this surface that's exactly what I did this morning. I was really liberal with it. I ended up actually kind of pouring some on a little bit because I was sort of in a hurry and I wanted to make sure it would dry by tonight. But it's just super easy to do. I'll tell you what, if you consider, I mean, I have slick stick on hand. You may, you know, have to purchase it um, and I always have a link in my description box of most of my videos uh, where you can purchase it if you're close by in Altoona you can always come to La Vintage Decor or um, if you use my affiliate link that means you order it directly from Dixie Bell and I get a little kickback so it, it helps my small business. And it doesn't cost you anything more. So you see how easy that's going on? It's And I, like I said, I'm being very generous with it. And I'm using sort of a smaller brush. I also decided when I did mine today that I wasn't going to go the whole way down. You could paint half of it and then flip it. And then paint the bottom half of it. But I'm just going to be putting mine in some flower pots. So I'm not really concerned about it. And... I, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to secure this in the pot. It may blow away. <laughs> um, I had originally thought about stacking them, like putting a dowel rod in there. So, so we'll see. Now, don't forget this one. My, my other one's going to be a little more solid um, just because it's full of bags, whereas this is has uh, packing material in it and it's those inflatable little pillow packs so this one's going to be a little bit lighter weight and subject to breaking but i'm hoping that the paint on the outside is going to protect it from those things so we'll see how it goes um they're rather small pots so I, but big enough to put this in i, I think it'll work I will be doing Thursday's video on um, the rest of my porch, um, fall decor on the porch and little fix-ups around the house so um, you can see what it looks like on my porch because that's where it's going. So we're almost done with the slick stick. Like I said, I didn't do the whole bottom. Now I will say that it made my pumpkin look kind of wrinkly. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a wrinkly pumpkin. And again, I would have tied this a little bit tighter too, and I might still tighten it up, but I just wanted to show you the process of putting the slick stick on it and how we got here. But I'm really super excited to paint with that uh, pumpkin spice new gorgeous color from Dixie Bell. 
These colors are so popular that they are selling out already. Um, we can't reorder them. And, you know, during the time that I was out uh, sick, almost two weeks, I can't believe it, but we didn't sell them. So, I don't know why, but I'm definitely going to use them. Gorgeous colors. Um, there's a green called Juniper. It's absolutely beautiful. And, of course, I love that pumpkin spice. There's a color called Latte. Okay, so this is pretty well coated, and I'm going to set this one aside and bring the other pumpkin. I'm going to have a plastic bag to put the brushes until I can wash those. <clears throat> okay, so I didn't get that on very well. That's an ongoing problem with me. <laughs> and let me see if I have a little paper towel here. Just gonna wipe this up a little bit. All right. I'm gonna start with the stem. And like I said, I'm using holy guacamole. And you can use whatever you want. You can make it more brown or you can make it more green. I'm using this as a French tip brush from Dixie Belle. And I'm just going to paint this stem here. And so far, so good, right? Looks like a holy guacamole stem. And do just a little bit around there. All right. Okay, and I have a bigger brush uh, to do the rest of the painting with. So this project might not take us very long tonight, but that's okay. I enjoy the time we get to visit. So I went back to work today. Today was my first day back. I definitely get a little bit more tired out. Um, take a sip of water here. But definitely, definitely feeling much better than I was last week at this time. So again, we're using Pumpkin Spice, one of the seasonal colors, uh, Suzanne's Fall Colors. And I've been waiting to get my hands on this because I've had it set aside the whole time I was out. And I was thinking about it. Doesn't It just looks like it should smell like uh, pumpkin pie, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe it will. Sometimes when I paint with soft pink, I think it smells like strawberries, and that's just me. Okay, so we're going to get started on the pumpkin here. And I'm just kind of going down those ribs. Oh, wow, I love this color. And that's kind of blending a little bit. Um, like with the stem part. I'll tell you what, these are wrinkly and definitely kind of artsy fartsy, but I think they're pretty cool considering they're only costing the cost of the paint. The other stuff you probably have on hand. And if you're like me, you have the paint on hand as well. And you know, anything that's a little bit different, I think, you know, sometimes, so the pumpkin's a little wrinkly, but you know, somebody might feel like that's an artistic interpretation of a pumpkin. Like I said, so far I'm on board, I think it's cool. And then you just want to make sure you get in all those little folds so that you don't miss any areas.
And I can already see I missed some from my stem too, so I'll be revisiting that a little bit. So, again, to address the wrinkles, you could do, so I didn't want to spend the money on that paper mache pulp. You could use paper mache like you learned in school. Take the newspaper, take the glue. You can use Elmer's glue and just uh, water it down a little bit and take paper strips and just wrap them around the pumpkin. You could do that easily. Um, it would be a lot more time consuming, but it might be kind of a fun little project, especially something you might want to get the kids involved in. I think it would be kind of fun. But I wanted some instant gratification. And I just thought about Slick Stick, and I thought I thought it would look cool just to paint directly uh, the bag. I'm going to try to paint down as far as I can without making a real mess. Because I'm definitely, you know, going to want to wait until it dries and then flip it over and paint the bottom part. And it's going to be one of those things, too, once it dries, that I'm probably going to want to give it a second coat as well. Now, I was a little drippy with my slick stick this morning. Like I said, I kind of was, was using a small brush. I was short on time, so I was just kind of pouring the, the slick stick on and spreading it around with my brush. Would have been much smarter to use a, a brush more like this. This is definitely doing a better job. Okay, so I'm going to get as much as I can on the bottom here. I said you want to get in those little crinkles. Yeah, I have paint all over me now, but <laughs> I miss this. I started working on my uh, challenge piece today. If you remember the uh, Ugly Duckling challenge, um, now we're having a Halloween challenge. So that's going to come out on October 23rd and 24th. And again, over 30 YouTubers are doing this challenge together so um, lots of fun stuff like like it was with the ugly duckling and this time you know there's probably gonna be some spooky crazy stuff happening um, maybe it's just some nice fall colors and then maybe some craziness like I have planned <laughs> all right so pretty much have a coat all over this and I like I said I will be revisiting that um, and putting a second coat on it so I will put a little bit more of the holy guacamole oh my gosh this color is so pretty so what do you think of the pumpkin so far I think it's pretty cool. Okay, I think I still have some holy guacamole left on my brush. So I'm going to touch up what I saw that I missed earlier. Okay. Um, so... I hope you like my junk pumpkin. I think it's pretty cool. I also have some of these things too, which I might use to embellish uh, the tops of them. I think that would be pretty on there. So you could just use glue to do that. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight and I am gonna finish um, putting the paint on it in the morning and then I'll definitely update you, as I always do, on my Instagram page. And now I can use my community tab page, too. 
Um, so I can also put updates on there for you as well. Well, I really appreciate you watching tonight and I'm just shaking my leaves at you. Um, but I also hope you uh, continue to watch and it's just so exciting and I appreciate everything you do to help me grow my channel. So you have a wonderful evening and stay well. Bye-bye.